Jiva Goswami, Sri Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, Sri Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, were all very expert in scrutinizingly studying all the revealed scriptures with the aim of establishing eternal religious principles. Thus they are honored all over the three worlds, and they were taking shelter of it because they are absorbed in the mood of gopis and are engaged in the transcendental loving service Reading from Nectar of Devotion, this is chapter number 18, character of one in ecstatic love, meaning characters of people who are on the platform of Baba Bhakti, right? The chapter began with nine different characteristics of somebody who has achieved Baba Bhakti. The strong conviction that one will certainly receive the favor of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is called in Sanskrit Ashabandha. Ashabandha means to continue to think because I'm trying my best to follow the routine principles of devotional service. I am sure that I will go back to Godhead, back to home. Go ahead. I beg you. Yeah, I know. Read the next paragraph. I read the next paragraph. So read Thai first. Sometimes up to me, มีบทมนต์โดยรูปโตชวามีที่พอเป็นตัวอย่างแห่งความหวังนี้ท่านกล่าวว่าพระเจ้าไม่มีความรักต่อคริสนาไม่มีวิธีที่จะพัฒนาความรักต่อคริสนาเช่นการฝันและการภาวนาไม่มีวิธีปฏิบัติวัคคีโยกาซึ่งทําให้สามารถระลึกถึงคริสนาได้ตลอดเวลาและมีพระบาทรูปตัวของพระองค์ตั้งมั่นอยู่ในหัวใจสำหรับความรู้ทางปรัชญาหรืองานบุญก็ไม่เห็นโอกาสที่จะทำกิจกรรมเหล่านี้ได้ยิ่งไปกว่านี้คือข้าไม่ได้เกิดในตระกูลที่ดีดังนั้นแต่ต้องต้องเพียงแต่ภาวนาต่อพระองค์โกปีจานาวลาบาคริชนาผู้ขั้นจุนและเป็นผู้รักของพวกโกปีข้าเพียงแต่ปรารถนาและหวังว่าอย่างไรก็ตามข้าจะสามารถเข้าถึงพระบาทรูปดอกบัวของพระองค์และความหวังนี้สร้างความเจ็บปวดเพราะคิดว่าตัวข้าไร้ขีดความสามารถที่จะบรรลุถึงจุดมุ่งหมายคิดแห่งชีวิตคือคำอธิบายคือภายใต้หัวข้ออาชาอาชาบันดาอาชาบันดาเราเราควรหวังต่อไป
แม้ในสิ่งที่เป็นไปไม่ได้ถึงอย่างไรก็จะสามารถเข้าถึงพระบาทรูปต่อบัวขององค์พระวาให้ได้ In this connection, one prayer by Rupa Goswami is sufficient to exemplify that this hopelessness, hopefulness. He says, "I have no love for Krishna, nor for the causes of developing love of Krishna, namely hearing and chanting, and the process of bhakti yoga, by which one is always thinking of Krishna." And fixing his lotus feet in the heart is also lacking in me. As far as philosophical knowledge or pious works are concerned, I don't see any opportunity for me to execute such activities. But above all, I am not even born of a nice family. Therefore, I must simply pray to you. Gopi Jana Balava, Krishna, maintainer and beloved of the Gopis, I simply wish and hope that some way or other I may be able to approach your lotus feet, and this hope is giving me pain. There is giving me pain because I think myself quite incompetent to approach the transcendental goal of life. The purport. Is that under this heading of Asha Bandha, one should continue to hope against hope that some way or other he will be able to approach the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. Okay, so Sri l a r u p a Goswami is describing these characteristics of somebody. Who has this ecstatic love for the Lord? She l o o t h i t b y t n b u k l i k s n a o n o n i n i a m r a b e p u n i i s u d e v o t e considers himself unqualified. t a l o k e t i a t n e n l i u n a s o b a Does not have any qualification to make himself eligible for love for Krishna. But he has that faith, f o o s very strong faith, that somehow he will get the mercy of. แต่ว่าต้องมีความศรัทธาอย่างมั่นคงอย่างแรงที่คิดว่าจะได้มีโอกาสรักคริชนา The devotee just simply he desires to get the shelter of Krishna and he hopes to get the shelter of Krishna. สาวกก็พยายามมามีคริชนาเป็นที่พึ่งและหวังว่าจะได้เป็น So this characteristic is stressing the importance that we have that hope. We're hopeful to get this. ก็พยายามหวังว่าเราจะทำได้อย่างนี้ Somehow, somehow Krishna will be kind to us. ก็หวังว่าคริชนาจะมีเมตตาต่อเรา We don't have any qualification. We cannot think that because I've done this, because I performed these austerities, I'm qualified. Do not think that because I. We should not think that because I've done some austerities, therefore I'm qualified to get the mercy of Krishna. ที่เราปฏิบัติความเพียรสมถะแล้วคิดว่าเรามีคุณสมบัติ We don't think because I went to the holy places, therefore I will get the mercy of Krishna. อย่าหวังว่าอย่าคิดว่าเราไปสถานที่ศักดิ์สิทธิ์แล้วเราจะได้รับพระเมตตาจากคริชนา We don't think because I've memorized many verses of the scriptures. 
Therefore, I will go to Krishna. But devotee thinks he's unqualified in every way. But he has a hope. He has, has this very, he's got this he's very hopeful that somehow Krishna will be kind to him. Because Krishna is Dinabandhu. He's very kind. He's a friend of the fallen souls. Just like we sing that song about Lord Chaitanya sometimes. There's a fam famous song we sing about Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya's devotees. There's a song we sing about Lord Chaitanya. There's a song. What is the song? I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a song about Lord Chaitanya. We put playing Kyoka from Chaitanya. Well, the scheme is it. So the song says, Shri, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Daya Koramori Toma Vina Kedayalu Jagata Samsare Patita Pavana Hitu Tava Avatara Mosamo Patita Prabhu Napai Ebe Ara. Right? This is the song. I think you all know this song. The devotee is praying to Lord Chaitanya. He said, I am very fallen. But you have come to deliver the fallen souls. So there is no one more fallen than me. So my claim is first. I, I have the right first. You've come to save the fallen souls. You should save me first. Because this is you say you have come to save the fallen souls, so it should save me. Now the person who wrote this song, he was a great devotee. But he is praying like that. Just like in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj was the author of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Krishna Kaviraj Chaitanya Charitamrita. So he says, Jagai Madai Hoite Muni Se Papista, Puru Shera Kitohoi Muni Se Lagista. Krishna Das Kaviraj says that. I am more sinful than Jakai and Madhai. Now Jagai and Madhai were very sinful people. Jagai and Madhai There was no sin they had not done. 
But this man, Krishna Das Kapiraj, says, I am more sinful than them. Uh, Krishna Kapiraj. Krishna Das Kapiraj. Krishna Das Kapiraj. Krishna Das Kapiraj. Oh, what a So, Krishna Das Kapiraj, he was also a great devotee. He was not really sinful. But he's very humble. He said, anybody who utters my name, they lose all their pious activities. And Prabhupada said, Prabhupada told us he was not just saying that, but he actually felt like that. So, although he felt like that, still he has a hope. He wrote this wonderful book, Chaitanya Charitamrita. And he described, one, he wrote wonderful poetry describing the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. So he, although he, he thinks himself fallen, Still, he has a hope to get sheltered of Krishna. So, this hope, is a, this is an important, this is one of the qualities of someone who is on the platform of ecstatic love. Okay, we'll read another one. Eagerness for achieving the desired success. When one is sufficiently eager to achieve success in devotional service, that eagerness is called samutkanta. This means complete eagerness. Actually, this eagerness is the price for achieving success in Krishna consciousness. Everything has some value and one has to pay the value before obtaining or purchasing it. It is stated in the Vedic literature that to purchase the most valuable thing, Krishna consciousness, one has to develop intense eagerness for achieving success. This intense eagerness it's very nicely expressed by Bilva Mangal Thakur in his book, Krishna Karanamrita. He says, I am eagerly waiting to see the boy of Vrindavan, whose bodily beauty is captivating the whole universe, whose eyes are always bounded by black eyebrows, and expanded like lotus petals, and who is always eagerly glancing over his devotees, and therefore moving slightly here and there. His eyes are always moist, his lips are colored like copper, and through those lips 
there comes a sound vibration which drives one madder than a mad elephant. I want to see him at Vrindavan. So Prabhupada is writing here how this is this eagerness is a very important quality. That anybody who wants to become Krishna conscious, they have to have this qualification of being very eager. Being eager means you want something very, very badly. Means you're willing to do anything to get it. We want it so much. So, just like uh, Rupa Goswami mentions about enthusiasm, so eagerness is something similar to enthusiasm. Not exactly the same, but a little different. Eager. But when the spiritual master will give some instruction, we will take it out with, we're very eager to follow. Just like when Prabhupada went to uh, Prabhupada went to hear his spiritual master, his spirit Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati was at Radha Kund. So Prabhupada went to hear him. So it was announced that to, to, today there's an opportunity, either you can go to see the temple, there's one temple everyone's going to see, but if you want to stay, then spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, 
Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada is going to come and he's going to speak. So many of the, many of the devotees who went to the temple, they wanted to see the temple. But Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he stayed to hear the lecture by his Guru Maharaj. So his Guru Maharaj was happy. He said, I see he likes to hear. Some people, they go to holy place just as an eye exercise. They just go to see. But the real purpose in going to the holy place is to hear. So, Prabhupada had eagerness. He liked to hear. Prabhupada In the in the purport here, Srila Rupa Goswami has given the verse by Bilva Mangal Thakur. Rupa Goswami Hai Salo Doi Bilva Mangal Thakur. Bilva Mangal is very famous character in the Vaishnava history. Bilva Mangala ko ben sawok ki mi chu siyang ma ne sai lao Vaishnava. He was a songwriter. Ben kon kien bot pein ben na kovi. And when he was a young man, he had a young lady who used to sing his songs for him. Her name was Chintamani. So Bilva Mangal, he was very much attached to this young lady, Bilva Chintamani. So it happened that one day he was very, he wanted to go to see this Chintamani and there was a big storm. He could not get across the river to get to her house. So he found this, there was this dead body floating in the, in the river. So he took, he took hold of the dead body and he used it to get across the river. And after he got across the river, there was, he came to her house. Her house was all locked up because it was a very bad storm. They closed all the doors and all the windows. And around her house, there was a big wall with a big gate and the gate was closed. So Bilva Mangal could not think how to get into the house to see Chintamani. Then there was a snake on the wall. So he held the snake and he used the snake to get over the wall. So 
And in this way, then he came to her door and he beat on the door. Chintamani, Chintamani, open the door. <laughs> so Chintamani opened the door and she saw the, her, her man there. And she said to him, Oh, you're very eager to see me. If only you had the same eagerness to see Krishna. Because it was such a bad night and the weather was so bad, but Bhuva Mangal, he had risked his life to come there to see this girl. And so she said, and, but she said to him like this, Oh, if only you had the same eagerness to see Krishna. So when Bhiva Mangal heard this, then his mind was affected. And he thought, he thought to himself, Krishna, Krishna, yes, Krishna, I should be eager for Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. So he turned around and he left and he decided he would go to Vrindavan. So he was going to Vrindavan and on his way there one man saw Bilba Mangal that he was a Brahmana and he invited him come to my home I will give you food. Because it is the culture to give charity to the Brahmins. And the Brahmana he does not like to eat any, just, and he will like to eat the food given by another Brahmana. So sometimes he has difficulty to get food. So the Brahmana invited, he saw he's a Brahmana and he's walking, traveling to go to Holy Land. So he invited him, come to my home, I will give you food. So Bilva Mangal went to the man's home to take food. And when he was there, he saw that this Brahmana 